Hello my dear students, I am your teacher. My name is Dr. Swamit De, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, JIS University, Kolkata, West Bengal. So in this video, I will discuss one of the most important topic. Rather, we will solve one important question from matrix topic. Question is, there are different different methods you know to find a inverse one of them a inverse equals to adjoint a by date a so already you know that but here we will learn another method without any determinant without any adjoint we can find we will find a inverse okay so using statement is question is Using Clay Hamilton theorem, find inverse of the following matrix. This now we need to revise it. What is Clay Hamilton theorem? Anyone can give the answer? Anyone? Basically, statement of Clay Hamilton theorem is every square matrix, every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. Every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So this is the statement of Clay Hamilton theorem. Now try to understand how to use Clay Hamilton theorem here. Now, so first you write down here, here A is equals to, what is your given matrix? 2, 4, 3, 1. So first you write down then you need to calculate a minus lambda i what is lambda lambda is a constant what is i i is the identity matrix with same order of a okay so we need to calculate so here it is coming 2 4 3 1 minus lambda identity matrix 1 0 0 1 similarly we can write 2, 4, 3, 1 minus multiply with the lambda that is your lambda 0, 0 lambda. So now you know the subtraction process. So here we may write 2 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda, 4 minus 0, 3 minus 0 and 1 minus lambda. So we can write directly but first time we are explaining. So that's why we are writing elaborately. So from here we may write 2 minus lambda 4 and 3 1 minus lambda. Clear? Okay. So next you write down. So first step A. Second step A minus lambda I. Next you write down the Characteristic characteristic equation. What is your characteristic equation? Determinant a minus lambda i is equals to zero. Okay, so from here you may write determinant two minus lambda four three. 1 minus lambda determinant equal to 0. So please take a note. So this line is very, 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 very important. I have seen lots of students are using box. Please don't write box means matrix. So please make sure you have mentioned as a determinant. Okay, so this that's why I have marking triple star. So this line is very, very important. So here you have to express the matrix A plus lambda I, this one as a determinant form, okay. No. Clear? So now you need to simplify. 2 minus lambda 
1 minus lambda minus 12 equal to 0. So, similarly, we can write 2 1 minus lambda minus lambda 1 minus lambda minus 12 equal to 0. I think it is clear. This into this minus this into this. So, from here we may write 2 minus 2 lambda minus lambda plus lambda square minus 12 equal to 0. So, if I can simplify it is coming lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 2 plus 2 minus that is minus 10 equal to 0. Okay. Clear. So, this is the characteristic equation of the matrix A in terms of lambda. I think up to this portion is clear to everyone how to create uh, characteristic equation of the given matrix okay very good now we need to follow the second step second step okay so using clay hamilton theorem we are going to find a inverse okay what about the statement of clay hamilton theorem i repeat once again every square matrix satisfy its own characteristic equation okay the given matrix a and this mat this equation that is characteristic equation is coming from a so this matrix should be satisfied by a so please write down using 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 clay hamilton theorem we get all lambda should be replaced by a square minus 3 lambda minus 10. Okay. So, here you need to write because when you have means or when you have replaced lambda by matrix, then so resultant should be a matrix. So, you can't subtract or you can't add any number with matrix. So, that's why you need to express your number in terms of matrix notation. So, that's why I am writing 10 by 10 into i is a null matrix. So, this line is also very, 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 very important. So, please mark it. So, when just to remember when you are replacing your lambda in terms of matrix from the characteristic equation, you need to write what about the number you have that number along with i matrix or that is means i entry matrix clear so please make sure you have mentioned it so that's why i have given rather i have mentioned here with red color <laughs> be alert <laughs> okay so now i think it is clear to everyone how to transform characteristic equation to matrix equation clear all lambda should be replaced by sorry i have mentioned a. it should be a also no need to make it red rather you can write a clear all lambda should be replaced by a that is a square 3a minus this number should be mentioned number along with i that's it okay so a square itself a matrix 3a another matrix and 10i another matrix then in between this you can add subtract whatever the resultant is a null matrix now it is clear to everyone now can you recall your one concept previous concept if it is possible to express by multiplication is equals to i that means if it is possible to multiply two matrix and we are getting lamb i that is identity matrix then we can say a is inverse of a inverse is b or clear is it possible yes already is the most important property i repeat once again if it is possible to express a b is equals to i that means as a product of two matrices if it's if it's result coming identity matrix then we can say a inverse equals to b okay now we have to implement this concept to this place okay now 
now i am switching the next slide it is coming a square minus 3a minus 10i is equals to 0 okay now what was our target our target to express like i okay so please check on the right side your argument is i so here we may write a square minus 3a is equals to 10i okay just you can see i is the requirement but here 10 is extra so you make it balance 10 a square minus 3a is equals to i now it is right hand side part part is in perfect form same okay now you need to create this one now same process 1 by 10 so from a matrix is common from both so you may write a is minus again so when you are taking common a which one is left 3 so you can't write already have explained you can't write only number you need to write with i is equals to clear so this line is also very very important where your number is coming you need to write in matrix operation addition subtraction you need to write with i okay so please be careful please be careful so now we are writing a 1 by 10 a minus 3i is it okay now we can see a this is b is equals to i so here we have a process so you may write a inverse equals to b so from here we may write a inverse equals to b b means what this one is b so you may write 10 a minus 3i okay so you need to substitute the value of a that is matrix information so 1 by 10 is outside what is a what is your a please check so our a is equals to 2431 2431 what is the i it is coming 3 1001 okay so 1 by 10 is outside then 2431 minus 3003 okay so here you may write 1 by 10 2 minus 3 is coming minus 1 4 minus 0 is coming 4 3 minus 0 is coming 3 and 1 minus 3 is coming minus 2. Is it clear? It's very simple. So this you need to take some precaution about those star mark line. If these two lines are correct, so automatically you can reach your correct position or correct code. Or correct results okay so now I'm giving one homework you try to implement this concept to find the solution homework a is equals to minus 1 to 2 minus 1 or uh, there may be a confusion First, you need to solve very easy question. Uh, 4, 1, 1, 3. If concept is clear, then you need to write minus 1, 2, 2, minus 1. Now, I am giving two homework. You have to check it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. And uh, if it is beneficiary to you please do subscribe my channel and please share this information about my channel about the calculation process and all 
to all of your friends so that they can also get some benefit from here okay thank you thank you and and your i have received lots of response from your side uh, that you have mentioned that you are getting some benefits from here and also i have i i need to me, uh, mention here i have received lots of homework solution okay throughout the india and outside of india also okay so if anyone wants to send this solution that is whatever i have given as a homework you need to whatsapp me no problem my name number is uh, 7031279021 i am from india okay thank you thank you everyone